Greetings fellow Whovians, welcome to Time Wine Review and this month's edition of the Doctor Who Quiz. So this is the third quiz that I've done for this channel and I'm really enjoying doing these quizzes and I hope you are too. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed and commented on their scores. Uh, like I said, I'm enjoying doing these quizzes and I want to keep doing them at least once every end of the month but for March I'm going to make a little bit of an exception I know I've done a quiz recently but I wanted to tie this in to comic relief please enjoy it have fun with this we don't need Google for this quiz whatsoever this is all about anything and everything related to Doctor Who and it can be stretched a little bit in terms of the relation to Doctor Who there might be some questions there that are a little bit of a loose tie-in but just to stretch that uh, Who knowledge or channel General knowledge as it were so um yeah let's start with the first round which is doctor who knowledge so this will be 11 questions all related to doctor who with the last few questions orientated with doctor who and comic relief so the very best of luck here is question one name the fifth doctor story which celebrates its 40th anniversary this month where the fifth doctor regenerates into the sixth doctor Question two, which famous author appears in the Doctor Who episode, The Unicorn and the Wasp? Question three, which former Doctor also provides the voice of Scrooge McDuck in the rebooted version of DuckTales? Question four, name the British comedy drama series written by Sally Wainwright, which also stars the fifth Doctor, Peter Davison, where his family wins the lottery. So name that show which also starred Peter Davison who also played the Fifth Doctor. Question five, which famous landmark did a spaceship crash into in the Ninth Doctor episode, Aliens of London? Question six, in the same episode, the Doctor meets Harriet Jones for the very first time, but which fictional constituency was she an MP to? Love Harriet Jones. Which actor and voice artist voiced the Daleks in classic Doctor Who and also provided the voice of George and Zippy in the children's programme Rainbow? Question 8. Which planet is the home planet for the Ice Warriors? Name the home planet for the Ice Warriors. And these final questions now are all related to comic relief and Doctor Who. So very best of luck. Here we go. Question nine. What was the title name for the Doctor Who comic release special which was first broadcast in March 1999 that had Rowan Atkinson amongst others as the Doctor? Can't believe it's nearly 25 years old this. So question nine. What was the title name for the Doctor Who comic release special which was first broadcast in March 1999 that had Rowan Atkinson amongst others as the Doctor? Question 10. Who wrote that 1999 comic relief special? And finally, question 11. Um, Rowan Atkinson was the Doctor in the 1999 comic release special. I never said that, right? 1999? Yes, of course it is. Right, start again. Rowan Atkinson was the Doctor in the 1999 comic release special, but what other actors also regenerated into the Doctor in that same special? I'm feeling in a particularly extra generous mood for this question. So for question 11, you can get one point if you can name one of the actors that was also in the special as the Doctor alongside Rowan Atkinson. You get two points, give yourself two points, if you can name all the actors who were the Doctor in that said special. And for three points, do it in the order that they regenerated. So from Rowan Atkinson to a another and another. Best of luck with that question. Whilst you're finalising those answers, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is a special edition of my Doctor Who quiz, which is also tying in with comic relief. And basically I'm fundraising for comic relief. So obviously it's a very worthy charity cause. It's probably one of the most biggest known uh, charities out there in the world. And I know obviously we've got, we're still in the middle of the cost of living crisis. Uh, but whatever you can give will mean so much for the people that are out there still starving, still 
struggling for hunger and disease uh, and famine and yeah it's it's horrible that we're still living in a world where that is happening but whatever you can give can can do so much for for the charities that that comic relief stands for so uh, in the link in the description is my gofundme page for comic relief it all goes straight into there don't forget the gift aid if you are a uh, if you pay your taxes uh, in that category um so you can do all that and get extra money for comic relief or if you don't feel comfortable doing that hit the link in the descriptions for the actual comic relief website where you can just donate there whatever you can or do whatever you want to do even if it just inspires you to do some fundraising for the charity next year for example i'll be well happy with that um you know this is all for you know this is a fun quiz and i just wanted to do my bit in terms of fundraising and doing what I love, which is talk about Doc Two, and if I can do some charity fundraising along the way, then that's a happy bonus. So do check out those websites in the links. Uh, I truly appreciate it, and thank you for for those who have donated already and previous donations over the years. I'm sure we have all donated to Comic Relief uh, in the past, and people continue to do so. Again, a massive thank you from me to you. Uh, for for all the hard work that everyone has done for this charity okay let's go through the answers for the doctor who knowledge starting with question one then name the fifth doctor story which celebrates its 40th anniversary this month where the fifth doctor regenerates into the sixth doctor it is of course the case of andrazani i've just reviewed that recently on the timeline review youtube channel do check that out it's an out and out classic story regardless. Question two, which famous author appears in the Doctor Who episode, The Unicorn and the Wasp? That is, of course, Agatha Christie. Question three, which Doctor Who, sorry, I'll start that again. Question three, which Doctor also provides the voice of Scrooge McDuck in the rebooted version of DuckTales? It is, of course, David Tennant, one of the hosts of Comic Relief and had some very memorable moments in Comic Relief as host. Your answer here for question three, <laughs> question three, yes, I'm having to read off my laptop because um, I've had to quickly change some of the questions, so I do apologise. But yes, the answer for question three is David Tennant. Question four, name the British comedy drama series written by Sally Wainwright, which also stars Fifth Doctor Peter Davison as his family, where his family, sorry, wins the lottery. It is At Home with the Braithwaites. Classic drama, that one. Um, I do remember that. So if you haven't, do check it out. The answer was At Home with the Braithwaites. Question five. Which famous landmark did a spaceship crash into in the Ninth Doctor episode, Aliens of London? It was, of course, Big Ben. And question six. In that same episode, the Doctor meets Harry Jones for the first time. For, for, for which fictional constituency was she an MP to? The answer was Flydale North. So before she was Prime Minister and then former Prime Minister, it was Harriet Jones, MP for Flydale North. Question seven. The, which actor and voice artist voiced the Daleks in classic Doctor Who and also provided the voice for George and Zippy in the classic, brilliant children's programme, um, Rainbow? It was Roy Skelton. Roy Skelton was the answer there, uh, providing the voice of not only classic Doctor Who Daleks, but also George and Zippy. Rest in peace, Roy. He was a legendary voice artist. Question eight, which planet is the home planet for the Ice Warriors? Um, I'll be very interested if you got this or not. It is Mars. Mars is the original home planet for the Ice Warriors. Question nine, 10, 11 now are all the Doctor related comic relief ones. So here we go. So question nine, what was the title name for the Doctor Who comic relief special, which was first broadcast in March 1999? Can't believe that is 25 years ago. Uh, that had Rowan Atkinson, amongst others, as the Doctor. It was The Curse of Fatal Death. What a title. The Curse of Fatal Death. Question 10, who wrote that episode? It was none other than Stephen Moffat. He was the one that had the uh, the go at that comic release special. 
and obviously went on to be showrunner for Doctor Who in the revived series of Doctor Who. And finally, question 11. Rowan Atkinson was the Doctor in the 1999 comic release special, but what other actors also regenerated into the Doctor in that same special? So, for one point, I'm asked, uh, for one point for this, uh, name any of the other actors that was the Doctor, which was Hugh Grant, Jim Broadbent, Richard E. Grant, and Joanna Lumley. If you got any of those actors, give yourself one point. If you named all of them, Give yourself two points. If you manage to get it in regeneration order, give yourself three points. So the regeneration order was Rowan Atkinson into Richard E. Grant. Then Richard E. Grant regenerated into Jim Broadbent, who was very shy and didn't like girls. And then regenerated into Hugh Grant, which was a result for the companion played by Julius Tawala. And then finally, after we thought the Doctor used up all of his regenerations, we had one more regeneration, which was Joanna Lumley. Total up your scores and let's add them on to the next round, which is Doctor Who Odd One Out. So this is going to be uh, Doctor Who related questions. And the fifth one will be a Doctor Who related answer. And you've got to pick out from those four questions into the fifth one, what the odd one out is. And for an extra bonus point, why? So you get a one in four chance anyway uh, of getting the answer right, but an extra point for why it's the odd one out. Very best of luck. Here we go with the first question. Name the actress who played Moni Myrtle in the Harry Potter movies. Name the actress who played Moni Myrtle in the Harry Potter movies. Question two. Name the actor who has, who has starred in the TV dramas Hustle, Mad Dogs and Vandervolk. Name the actor who has starred in TV dramas such as Hustle, Mad Dogs and Vandervolk. Question three. Name the famous stand-up comedian who has also starred in hit shows such as Phoenix Nights and Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere. Name that comedian who has, had, who has also starred in hit shows such as Phoenix Nights and Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere. Question four, name the actor who played mentor Giles in the Buffy the Vampire series alongside actress Sarah Michelle Gellar. So name the actor who played mentor Giles in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer alongside Sarah Michelle Gellar. And question five, with those answers, which one is the Doctor Who related odd one out and why? Whilst you're doing that, I'll just do a cheeky plug for myself. If you are new to this channel, hello and welcome to Time Wine Review. This is dedicated to anything and everything related to Doctor Who. Um, now I've got uh, 500 subscribers, so that's a massive thank you for doing that. Do check out my fantastic um, Doctor Who related content on this channel. There's so much content on there. But I'm also on Facebook and X and TikTok. So there's even more fun to be had on TikTok on there there as well i really do hope you enjoy this channel thank you for just taking time and just watching this quiz as well as watching any of my previous content uh, on timeline review uh, um, youtube channel and of course the tiktok page so enough of blowing my own steam there and doing the housekeeping but again really appreciate it let's give you the answers for the doctor who odd one out so obviously with these four answers that you've got the fifth one is what is the doctor related odd one out and what is the reason why so here we go number one was name the actress who plays Moni myrtle in the harry potter movies the answer i was looking for was shirley henderson shirley henderson brilliant actress Scary as Moni Myrtle, but a brilliant actress. Question two, name the actor who has also starred in TV dramas such as Hustle, uh, Van der Vork and Mad Dogs. The answer I was looking for is Mark Warren. Question three, name the famous stand-up comedian who has also starred in hit shows such as Phoenix Nights and Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere. It is, of course, the uh, world-famous comedian now, Peter Kay. And question four, name the actor who was played the mentor Giles in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Alongside Sarah Michelle Gellar, it is, of course, the legend that is Anthony Head. 
So from those answers, what was the Doctor Who odd one out and why? Well, the answer for that odd one out is Anthony Head. So well done if you picked Anthony Head, if it's just, even if it's just for a random guess, that gives yourself one point. But for that bonus uh, second point, for so for two points in total, what was the odd one out? The, the reason for the odd one out? All the other actors and actresses uh, from the odd one out round, they have starred in the Doctor Who episode Love and Monsters, whether you love that or not. So uh, Shirley Anderson, she was Ursula Blake. Mark Warren was Elton Pope, where the story was kind of surrounded for that episode. Uh, Peter Kay was Vincent Kennedy, who turned into an absorber off. But the odd one out was Anthony Head. He was not in that episode, but he was in series two of Modern Doctor Who as the headmaster, Mr. Finch, in School Reunion. So well done if you got that odd one out and an extra well done if you found, figured out the reason why it was the odd one out. The Doctor Who related odd one out. Total up those scores and let's go into the final round, which I like to call, and as the good doctor once said. So if you are new to this channel, what I tend to do, especially with my reviews, end on a quote from the doctor by saying, as the, and as a good doctor once said, and whatever quote I decide to use. So for this round, I want you to give, this is going to be worth two points each, one point if you know which doctor it is, and a, and which doctor said it first, importantly, as well, as you'll get to know in these questions. And an extra point if you know which story or episode that quote came from. I'm sure it'll all come clear. Here we go with the first question. Uh, and as the good doctor once said, who said this, do which doctor said this quote? There's no point being grown up if you can't be childish sometimes. Name the doctor who said that quote and name the story or episode where that quote came from. Question two, nobody human has anything to say to me today. Nobody human has anything to say to me today. Name the Doctor and name the Doctor Who episode or story it came from. Question three, carrot juice, carrot juice, carrot juice. Bit of a random one, but that is a quote. Question four, I don't want to go. Now, which doctor said it first and when was it first said? Which story or episode was it first said in televised order, just to give you a clue. And finally, question five, I can see you've been doing the TARDIS up a bit. Hmm, I don't like it. Okay, so let's reveal the answers for the final round. And as the good doctor once said, so like I said, I was looking for who said that quote and from which Doctor Who story or episode that quote came from. So, which doctor said this one? There's no point being grown up if you can't be childish sometimes. That was, of course, the fourth doctor in the story Robots. So that was the debut story for the fourth doctor, Tom Baker. And that was robot so well done if you got those uh obviously it's again one point for which doctor it is and a second point for which story or episode of doctor Who that came from so for number two nobody human has anything to say to me today that came from the 11th doctor and that was from the story slash episode, The Beast Below. This is so hard to say uh, these quotes without actually trying to do a, a mimic an impression of said Doctor. But I love that line. It's probably one of my favourite Doctor Who lines of all time. Nobody human has anything to say to me today. I love it. Absolutely love it. Question three. Carrot juice, carrot juice, carrot juice. That came from the sixth doctor and from the story. Well, I'll give you a point for either of these answers, to be fair. Uh, that came from the Trial of a Time Lord season. So if you said Trial of the Time Lord, that's absolutely fine. If you did say the ultimate foe, though, that is kind of the official answer. But I'm happy if you said either six doctor for one point and for two points, uh, the ultimate foe or Trial of a Time Lord. Very happy if you said any of those answers. Question four, I don't want to go. That was said by the 10th Doctor, of course. 
and the episode I was looking for is the end of time. I would also, well, it's the end of time part two, but I would also accept the end of time. Now, technically, the 10th Doctor said it first in the 50th anniversary special, the day of the Doctor, really, if you're looking at the timeline lineage of that. But I'm going for the televised tele, uh, lineage of this one, the te televised timeline, which was the end of time at part two. And finally, question five. I can see you've been doing the TARDIS up a bit. Hmm, I don't like it. That was said by the second Doctor in the third Doctor story, The Three Doctors. So well done if you got that. It was the second Doctor saying it in the the story the three doctors well done if you got those answers how did you do let me know in the comments below there are 28 points in total for this edition of the doctor Who quiz so how many did you get let me know in the comments but please keep the answers out of there as best as possible so everyone has a chance to have a go at this quiz and um, also this is, of course, for charity, this one. This is a charity edition of the Doctor Who quiz for comic relief. So please, if you can, give whatever you can for the comic relief. Again, the description, the links are in the descriptions below. Uh, you can either go into my, by the Just Giving page, that will go straight to the comic relief site there. I don't pocket any of this whatsoever. But if you don't feel safe to do so, not a problem at all. Do check out the Comic Relief uh, website and you can donate there if you can donate as well. Thank you very much though for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed this quiz. If you have, please like, share and subscribe. Hit the cloister bell for more notifications. Come say hello and follow me on Facebook and X and do check out my other fantastic Doctor Who related content on the Time Wine Review TikTok page and right here on the Time Wine Review YouTube channel. And again, importantly, if you can, please check out the Comic Relief website, donate if you can, or even just look at some ideas for any fundraising that you'd like to do in the future. I would really appreciate that. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you had a good time. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.